Hi guys. Happy Try to Bike Tuesday. We have the asbestos results. So as you know, I had my NYX banana powder tested for asbestos because the main ingredient is talc. And I also had my Charlotte Tilbury sample number well, this is sample number one. I labeled them. They're in baggies because the main ingredient is also top. So I had both of these tested from an independent lab. And now we have the results. So they test for all different kinds of asbestos. So crystallite, cry I'm, I don't even know. Tremolite, acinolite, as you get the idea. Okay, so this is, they test for all these different kinds. And they go about it a certain way, which is on the other printout. So, I mean, I had to kind of print this out and I had to um, block out like my personal information. So, we have dun, 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 dun. CT stands for Charlotte Silbury, and NYX obviously stands for my NYX banana powder. Dun, 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 dun. We have zero of that one, zero of that one. Zero. My iPad fell over. So there is none detected. There is zero asbestos in my face powders. So I'm very excited about this. And I can go back to using them because I know that they won't give me mesothelioma or kill me. So, but they're, they're, I should put this disclaimer on there that you can get a false negative and a false positive. It's very, very rare for this to happen, especially the way they test it. It's extremely rare, but it can happen. So you need to put that in there as a disclaimer. Um, but this lab, the way they go about it, if they even think they find it, they run additional tests on the sample. So I'm pretty, pretty confident that we're good and I can go back to using mine. So those two powders came back clean and I'm very excited about that and that's where we're at today so that's really exciting I can take them out of the plastic bags and actually go back to using them because these are like my favorite powders so I'm very excited I can use them again so um but that doesn't mean that every powder is safe this was just one powder and one sample from each one that's a very small sample size very small sample size as a scientist, we need lots more samples. But anyway, um, mine don't have it. But if you think yours does, you can always send it in. Um, I did a video of just collecting it and how to do it. It's not hard. The results take a while. Take about like five to seven business days. And then it obviously has to be sent in the mail and blah, 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 blah. So, very excited. They do not contain asbestos because if they did, I thought this video would go completely viral and be a disaster. So, I'm very, very glad they are asbestos free. So I'm not saying yours are necessarily. I'm just saying I know mine are. So that's at least a good start. And keep testing and go from there. So I'll see you later. Bye guys.